Hey church family, thank you so much for clicking the link, scanning the QR code, and just spending a little time with me today. I wanted to just share with you why we are praying and fasting this coming week. So, when are we doing it? Well, we're doing it from Monday to Saturday. So, thank you for committing to do that then. And then you may have the question, why are we doing this? Well, we know as we read in Scripture in Matthew 7, and through many parts of Scripture, it talks about the importance of praying, connecting to God, and fasting, which is really disconnecting from the world. And Jesus really models that for us. He even says that some things can only happen because of prayer and fasting. So we are choosing to corporately pray and fast together. And what are we praying and fasting about? Well, we have three points that we want to uh, connect with you and join with you in prayer and fasting about. And, and the first one is simply this. We want to see people connected with Jesus. We want to see life transformation. So will you join us in prayer and fasting to see people come to know Jesus, to, to be a part of that change, to pray for, to fast, but also to ask God, what can I do to connect to others, to be the example? Let's, let's, let's do this as a church. Lord, will you speak to me on how I can be more like you throughout the weeks of my life? And second is simply this, is we are, we are praying for our McAllister launch. We are praying for what God is going to do in McAllister. Lives transformed, marriages restored, kids coming to know Jesus, the next generation empowered. We are praying for that campus. We're going to take time each week. And we have on that card that we've given you uh, a checkbox of Monday, Tuesday, all through the week so you can know, hey, I I'm doing this together. And so we're also praying for uh, the new school year. We want to pray for our teachers, faculty, administration. We want to come alongside them. We know that God describes that He camps angels around us and puts a hedge of protection around us as well. So we want to pray that for our schools. And so in this time, will you do that? Will you, will you pray that with us? Will you connect? And so again, you still may have questions. You say, okay, that's what we're praying for, but how am I going to how am I going to fast? What is fasting? Am I going to lose a bunch of weight? What, is, what, is, what am I doing? Well, I'm going to tell you, we are corporately fasting, so we're asking that everybody do this together, but we are not specifically telling you what to fast from. But I will encourage you to do this. Make sure in this time that you're connecting to God and disconnecting from the world. So that may mean from you, for you is that I'm going to eat a little differently, and I'm going to take that time that I'm eating differently to connect to God. And it may mean that you're going to disconnect from your phone, TV, media, the time spent in that, and you're going to connect with God in that time. It can mean so many things. But I'm going to tell you, will you be strategic in praying and fasting in this Monday through Saturday? And let's look for the miracle. Not look for the obstacles out there. Let's look for what God is doing. And I'm telling you, just as Scripture has already told us, miracles will happen because of this time and these moments we spend together. So church, thank you so much. I look forward to fasting with you, praying with you, and experiencing God's miracles together. God bless.